Well, hello friends. Welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where in this video I am participating in an open collaboration that is hosted by Jovi of Creating with Jovi and Carol of Carol's Recrafted Boutique. And it is um, kind of like a themed um, open collaboration and you can pretty much do whatever you want within that theme. This month's theme is Inspired by Nature. And um, even though <laughs> it's almost the end of uh, the day already, of, on the day of the collaboration, I said, you know what, I, I want to participate. Let me just jump in. And what I had wanted to do is take some of the things that I've received in Happy Mail recently, and they just so happen to be very nature inspired, and just put them in my journal. And um. As I was going to do that, I just flipped through my journal real quick to make sure that I, you know, I didn't come across any personal information that would come on the video. And I just realized, again, how much I love this journal. It's like, you know, it's totally me. I mean, it's just thrown stuff that's thrown together. But look how, look, I don't know. To me, it looks very yummy and very, you know, fun. So... It's just a one signature journal, but of course it's growing and it can keep growing still. So um, I have some stickers and some little cutouts that my friend Queen Bee sent me. So these are here. I may use these. There's some cute doggies and stuff, but I think I'm going to use the little, like there's some butterflies and uh, what do you call it? Little ladybugs. I think that's what I want out of this. Here's another little cutout. And, um, and then she also sent me several of these coloring pages. I picked these because some of my favorite things this is a butterfly. And it's got another design that says happy there. And then there's this little squirrel, which I also love. And then just some natural things there. So I'm going to work do something with that. And this I actually cut out of a swap and glue that was sent to me by... Um, Deidre of Crafter Deidre and I'll have all these channels like below um, I, I already did a swap and glue page with the things she sent but you know there's always so much left over and I just looked through there and found this this was actually a lamp I just took off the lampshade and I'm just gonna glue that in my journal and here's another little wreath from Queen Bee and then I have this gorgeous happy meal from my friend Sherry of Turquoise Dreamy uh, that she made for my um, as a VR for for my giveaway that I'm doing. Um, if you're not familiar with that, I'll also link that below. It's gonna be lots of links in this uh, description box, but of course it is inspired by nature because you've got your sunflowers here, and uh, of course a lot of gorgeous elements that she picked out for me to make these tags for me. But it's mainly sunflower theme. But look at that cute little, um, what do you call it? Um, ah, I can't remember the name of that. Uh, hummingbird. Hummingbird. And the little owl up here. See in the sweet. And uh, birds. Birds and flowers. It's all nature. And then bunnies and flowers. It's all nature. All nature. I think... The only thing I'm going to do is just because I like to have rounded corners is I'm going to round these corners over here. I also find it goes in pockets easier and stuff. All right. And um, so I'm just going to stick these in my journal somewhere. But um, you know what? Maybe I'll do that last because I might actually create pockets with some of this. I don't know. We will see. <laughs> uh, I just know that I kind of want to use this. So maybe let me find. Oh, perfect. Here's a blank page. So, let's see. <laughs> what do I want to do on this blank page? Maybe this blank page will be... I love that it's got the grid there, like, uh, you know, the graph paper in large squares. I think I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down here. I'm going to glue down my little birds. And... That'll be that. Okay. So, as I do this, I don't know if you want to hear me yap. 
but um so for the last i don't know a couple months definitely several weeks now i have been uploading a video almost a video every day and it's just because like i said it's just that i have you know lots of things that lots of little collaborations i want to participate in lots of things that i want to share you know i mean that's really why <laughs> um but it's really funny so i was so busy this week and i did not do a video and i usually um i mean i love the idea of making videos ahead of time and sometimes i have been able to do that you know record a video that is going to be scheduled for way later like um some of you know some of my videos are sometimes like that but most of my videos are just done either the day of or the night before or what have you and this weekend was so busy um i did mention in a previous video that i've been getting ready to do a baby shower well that was last saturday and let me tell you i was not ready i was not ready at all by the time friday night came and it's not that I have not been working on, you know, the decorations and things. It's just that every time I started working on it, I would fall asleep because, you know, I work all day, right? So this was crunch time. I said to my friend who was helping me organize or who I'm helping her organize these things. Um, I told her, you know what? I'm pulling an all-nighter. And uh, she's like, wow, I, I couldn't do that, you know, whatever. And I said, well, you know, I don't feel like I have a choice, so um i knew i was gonna stay up late but i truly pulled an all-nighter i was done enough to where i felt that i could leave it um at six o'clock in the morning when my husband was getting up and i said well you know what this whatever's left it's gonna just be left or maybe we'll get it finished um what do you call it you know, when we get there, because we were, had already planned to meet there a couple hours earlier anyway. And I said, I need to get at least a little bit of sleep because I'm finally getting tired. It's really interesting. Your, your adrenaline kind of keeps you going, right? When you have a project that you're, I guess, focused on or whatever. Um, I didn't really feel even tired or sleepy all night. and um, But at 6 o'clock in the morning, I was starting to feel a little bit you know, dead. <laughs> so, um, I said, okay, I gotta sleep at least an hour. So sure enough, um, slept about maybe an hour, an hour and a half. And my husband woke me up and said, okay, you know, you said it's, you needed, wanted to be ready to go, you know, to be there at eight. I ended up not being there till nine, but that's fine. It was, it was fine that the shower wasn't until 11, but we just wanted to get there early to get everything set up, you know? And, uh, and then when I got there, there were other people that were helping, a couple of the ladies that were helping as well. So it wasn't just the two of us, which originally, that's what I thought it was going to be. But we did have a couple of other ladies helping, so that was nice. But, um, yeah, I got there, you know, finished helping setting up and all that. And we had a lot of fun in the shower. We had a lot of um, the compliments on our little decorations and things, so... Uh, I was very happy about that. <laughs> um, if you would like, maybe I'll make a one of the little shorts or something to sh share with you. <laughs> what we did, it was a pumpkin theme shower. So it was like, you know, I made a little banner that said, welcome little pumpkins. Because it was for two moms. And, um, you know, we had little pumpkin babies. And <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, and then I made a whole bunch of signs for the different games we were doing. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun, but I was so exhausted afterwards. Now, you would think I was so exhausted, I wanted, to, I would have come straight home, right? But there was also this um, craft show that um i wanted to to check out because um oh maybe the butterfly because got all the butterflies here that i wanted to check out because um i actually had thought about getting a booth there but i ended up not doing it because of the baby shower and um so i said well let me check it out and see how it is maybe next year you know 
I might join it or whatever. Maybe I'll do this as a flip down. Because I don't want to lose this or this. But I kind of want it here. So maybe I think that's what I'll do. So even though I was tired, I was starting to feel really tired at once the baby shower is over. I said, okay, I have to. I will regret if I don't get to go to this, you know, um, craft show. And it was beautiful craft shows. were well organized. Everything definitely was handcrafted. It probably was juried. I don't know. You know, that's when you have to send a picture of what you do first and all that stuff. So um, all that, it was very nice. Well done. But, you know, I didn't find anything that totally grabbed me. I found some really good ideas that I might copy but i really wanted to buy something but you know nothing really grabbed me so um i entered a raffle for a hand crocheted <laughs> llama blanket <laughs> uh, so let me show you what i'm gonna do here i'm going to glue this to the bottom and then it's just gonna be a flip down like that how about that so i'm um, just use glue stick too so yeah <laughs> that's all i did so and i wasn't there very long i did walk the whole thing it wasn't huge um but um you know they were selling stuff though there were a lot of people buying stuff so that was good i was really happy to see that um you know that they were it seemed like they were making some good business but um i just didn't find anything i wanted to buy so i was close i was really close i almost bought a couple of little things but i ended up not doing it so after that i went came straight home and i literally all i remember doing is taking off my shoes and getting in bed and i didn't wake up till the next morning when it was time to go to church so i was out and even you know even then i almost felt like i had a hangover it was so weird <laughs> i had not pulled an old all-nighter like that since probably i wasn't college <laughs> so yep that, that was my weekend so this morning and then sunday of course you know it, it was church and then after church we actually went to look at um places because um we're house hunting now it's so exciting and um, this is not nature necessarily but i just wanted to include this here okay um so we did that for a while and then we watched the game with our cousin and, and it was time for bed again so the weekend just flew by okay so i really love this check it out it was simple i just put that little um piece of um that little image from deidre these little butterflies from queen bee and then this um it could be a pocket but i really wanted to be able to see also this part even though it's upside down this part down here oh i guess oh there we go like that so i just made it a flip down you know don't want to lose any of it so i love it i really like how it came out with the butterflies up there and stuff so yay all right so let's see what is in here this is some other things that queen bee had sent me i had done this in another video let's see if i have another i'm sure i still have room in here yes i do right here so in here i think i want to make a pocket it looks like I have an embellishment. Oh, you can't see anything. I have an embellishment down here already. You see that? But I want to use Sherry's beautiful tags. And you know what? I don't want them covered. So I think what I'm actually going to do is glue the tags down as pockets. You know you can do that, right? <laughs> you can do whatever you want. So I think I don't want to cover that. So I really don't want to cover the, the lines necessarily. Maybe there's an, oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. This is, and it's a light page. I don't know if that's going to work, but mm. all right. Let's do it right here. This isn't really clipping anything. It's just kind of showing off there. All right. So I'm going to make this, and I've done this before where I've taken two tags or something like this and made a pocket with with them Ooh, i like this happy friends so hmm i don't know that i want this hanging off the page i think i'm just gonna do it up there like this and 
then this will be a pocket on top. So I don't want to overlap these because she went to all this trouble to sew. So I think I'm just going to take another little piece of something. Just so happens I just cut this card off of something else. And I'm going to glue, the, like join them together in the back to make them one piece so that it is a pocket. And they, they go together up to there. And I do want this to be nice and strong, so I'm going to use my glitter glue. So here's an idea. If you haven't seen me do this before, or if you maybe haven't seen this idea before, you can use your tags. And either you, well, I know you probably know you can use them, you know, as pockets, but um, I don't know if you've ever maybe joined them together. To make one pocket like one larger pocket I love to do that sometimes so in this case I'm joining them with this um, piece of card stock and it's actually a piece of a greeting card that I cut off there now they're joined together I think I need a little better gluing there okay Got to glue through all that sewing too, you know. There, now they're perfectly next to each other. And now I'm going to glue them as a pocket like that. So, let me grab my... Oh, I got to have the key up front. Okay. Grab my glue. And actually, if you're looking around my journal at the other pages, you see there's a lot of nature inspiration in here. <laughs> Nature is really uh, very inspiring, I think. So this was an awesome prompt. It really lent itself well to so many different crafts and projects. So thank you, Jovi and Carol. They come up with some really fun collaborations. Okay, so now I'm going to glue this down. Glue it. I have to, it's bending in a little bit because of, you know, the bulkiness of the journal. So I think I kind of need to press down on it and make sure it's glued. This glue's pretty fast, but you still need to, you know, give it some pressure, especially if it's curling like that. Okay, and then this all along here. Oops. And all along here. I think I'm going to need to glue this because I, I think I just messed it up. Yeah, I bent it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. It was dimensional, but that's okay. Okay, there's my pocket. And now inside that pocket, I can put my other little tag right here. See? And let's see. And it fits perfectly. It just sticks up just enough. Yep. I can even have it sticking up so that the... Uh, so that the hummingbird shows or I could put it closer to this side where you know it's lower here there we go and uh, let's see is this a pocket oh this is a pocket here I'm just gonna stick this one right here and then my little BFF one is this a pocket over here no this is not a pocket I may just nope that's not a pocket Let's see, there was a clip here. Let me just clip it. Well, it's almost 20 minutes. I didn't get around to using some of these stickers yet. So I'm just going to uh, paper clip this. Oh, this is one of my upside down paper clips. Okay. <laughs> paper clip this here with a little tag. I think I stick the little tag on the side too. Right here. There. And paper clip this one here and I probably mm, yeah I'm gonna have to use these up later but I want to get some of these stickers so I want to I can just add some of these stickers let's see maybe right here right here sorry if it's if I've been off frame oh, I hate it when I don't look around look at my camera 
Okay, here's a little butterfly. Here's a little ladybug. You want to cover those barcodes anyway. Let's see what else we have. Another little ladybug. I think I'll put it in the middle of this doily here. And here's another little butterfly, a yellow one. Let's put her up here. And maybe we need one here in these flowers too, huh? Here's another little one to put among the flowers. And maybe just one more because then we like our odd numbers. Oh my goodness, look at this sweet little turtle. Oh, and she's looking up. Oh, she's perfect. She is perfect. She's looking up. So I'm going to put her right here. And she's looking up at all these butterflies. How cute. And here's another one looking the other direction. Perfect. Oops. So I'm going to put her like right there. And they're both looking up at all the pretty butterflies. Nice. And there's little snails and crickets. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to play more with these stickers. But I'm going to leave this at that. So I basically did a couple of little spreads in my personal journal. And in case I was off frame, let me go back here. So I made this one that's just almost like a glue book page. But then it has this little flip down right here. And, um, and then I did this little pocket well big pocket actually out of these two tags and then i put another tag inside of the pocket and then the other tags that i got from sherry that are very nature inspired i put them in this little pocket that was already here and then this little flip out here i decorated with some of the stickers that i got from miss queen bee so that is my inspired by nature project today basically got to play in my own personal journal i hope that you enjoyed joining me if you did please give me a little thumbs up and let me know in the comments and definitely check out all the participants on this lovely collaboration of inspired by nature and that is the hashtag but like i said i will link um jovi and carol's channels below as well as the other ones that I mentioned. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.